Good evening once again, and welcome back to the Hookah Roundup. I am your host, The Mick. Here with my boy, JB. What up? Joining us again, Mac. What's going on, guys? Behind the cameras, Mr. Plaid Shirt, Irv. How you guys doing tonight? Just chilling on this delicious flavor we got tonight. Okay, tonight, as Jared teased, we're doing a delicious flavor. It's a flavor that is delicious. Surprise, surprise, right? Tonight we're doing Fantasia Adios Motherfucker. Um, you may not know what that means just yet. But we'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. Mm. So, this was a bit of a shot in the dark. We experimented earlier with the Fantasia Gingerbread. It was kind of shitty. Kinda. So, we decided, like, you know what? I keep hearing things online about Fantasia. So, you know, let's just give it another shot. Alright. So, we went online, of course, on hookashisha.com. And, uh... That was like the picture on the freaking, you know, site for the page for Fantasia was Adios Motherfucker. I was like, I've never heard of this. What, what the hell's with this fucking annoying ass name? Exactly. Who names a shisha Adios Motherfucker? Well, fun fact, an Adios Motherfucker is a drink. Which I didn't, I, I didn't know it existed until like... Right now? Until, yeah, right five minutes before we started filming. I want to drink it, actually. Yeah, it sounded really? pretty good. It oh, sounded kind of like like a... Like give a it, blue Long Island. Yo, give us a rundown of the ingredients. I don't remember them all. It was like mostly liquor and then like blue Caraco and 7-Up. All right. I, I guess that's close enough. Yeah, whatever. So, um, if it tastes anything like this flavor, I would I would yeah. drink it. In I'd drink a couple. In a heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, we decided to go with the Adios Motherfucker. Uh, just on a whim. And you know what? It, that came up, you know, all sixes. It was freaking just ridiculous. So good. We actually bought this like three months ago. To and review it, and we fucking ran out of it before we could yeah. review it because we just kept smoking it. Yeah, sorry guys, we would have had this, but it's it's really good, really good. In fact, should I get us started with the flavor here? Why you should, while we uh, begin our journey on the five point <laughs> star based rating system. You know, I thought you were going to surprise me. I really thought so, and then I remembered you. How many videos are we in now? Like 30-something, and you're still surprised by my antics? Like, get with the fucking program, you jackass. Anyway, take flavor away. We don't want to keep boring our audience with our stupid banter, because no one besides us is interested in it. And Chris Horn. And Chris Horn, apparently. So. Ah, well, flavor. You got a nice tropical mix here of, again, various tropical fruits. They do come in very nice. Very strongly. Uh, the flavor is just going to be right there. It's going to be intense. And the best part, it's going to last you the entire time. See, the pre it, it is a mix of flavors. But the predominant flavor is blueberry. See, I kind of like it to like a, a broody blue mist with like a tropical citrus twist at the end. As opposed to like the mint that you get with blue mist. Um, That's true. I believe you described yeah. it as like blueberry pineapple bubblicious. Yeah, with like kind of, it was yeah, it kind of like Fail. rose a little bit to me too. Everything tastes like rose to you. Oh, rose is a good flavor. You want to tangle the cord? Jesus, it's good. It's like rose with a punch. It's good. It tastes nothing like rose. You are out of your damn mind. This is not rose. This is not, not even close. Oh, it's rose. like it's like a tropical rose. It's no, good. no, it's really not. Hey, when I like something, I like to compare it to rose. Apparently, me, it's like a tropical rose. It's good. I like it. I mean, I guess that general sentiment holds true because this is a flavor you're going to goddamn love so much. In fact, we gave it a four point five. Yes. yes. I mean, it's it's. This is almost perfect. This flavor, like, it's really hard for me to think of any suggestions for it. Like, what to improve it with? What what it could what could make it better? I really can't think of much, if anything. It's a damn good flavor. Especially if you like Blue Mist or anything that's like remotely blueberry, which I do, so I'm all in on this. I mean, you know what my favorite flavor of that we smoked is? Blue Mist. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Of course. He so look, I'm all mist over this. He's comparing it to Blue Mist. Like yeah, but it actually stuff. tastes like Blue Mist. Exactly. The, they all. actually share a resemblance. I really like grape. This doesn't taste like grape. <laughs> and grape is the best flavor ever made. Second. But I don't taste grape. I taste rose. Yeah, no wonder you didn't like grape. Okay, so <laughs> let's move on. Uh, you want to take on smoke quality while I demonstrate? 
Well, as he Nick is going, as so said, he's going to demonstrate the lovely smoke quality we got here. As you know, with the flavor, the smoke you're going to get. Look at all that. You're actually going to fill up the room with this. Like I say that a lot. This, you know, this shisha isn't, you know, going to fill up the room and all that. But no, you're going to do that. This with this flavor right here, and it's you're going to be feeling like you're, you know, hot box in your room. Yeah. I can't even see you. Yeah, it's the whole time it's been. Smoking. Honestly, come on. You can't. You cannot. You know, joke with that. Yeah. It's so rosy. Go home. <laughs> Are you just planning to use the use the word rose as many times as possible? Yeah, it's a rose. <laughs> that better not be your final word. <laughs> rose. We can only be so lucky. All right. Draw. Really? Hey, that was that dropped <laughs> on the past. Fix it. I'm fixing right. it, but I'm just saying. So that was the, all on you. While Thumbelina is doing his thing, we're gonna do duration now. <laughs> Wait, rope. did we give? Did, did we? Give smoke quality a rating. Oh, we'll go back to Thumbelina. Jesus, Jesus, just <laughs> jumping ahead of us here, Mag. We give you more responsibilities, and you drop the ball. You're like Rick Nash. All right, we're giving smoke quality Not, here. <laughs> this can't be deflated. So what do you got to do? <laughs> good lord. Do what you got to do. <laughs> <laughs> you don't need interrupting. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> we gave smoke quality here a four, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Finally, now. Thank God, got that shit out. All right. So uh, for duration, this thing is, uh, I feel it's pretty good, like rose. It's lasting pretty well. We've been doing this for about 20 minutes now. I don't even have to hear what you have to say about rose Still getting anymore. good smoke. The flavor is good. Uh, You're going to smoke piece. this for about an hour, <laughs> maybe a little more, but not much. Right. I mean, like, you're not going to be like getting giving your lungs a, an uber workout with the duration like you will with the Fumari or that absolute zero we did a couple weeks ago. Just about to mention that. Yeah. It's um, not neither one of those. No, you're going to get a, maybe a little more than an hour, maybe an hour and 10 minutes at, at most if you really manage your calls well. Uh, I can see like an hour and 20 if you're really pushing it. But again, a little bit above average. Yeah. Hence, but, but like like you said in the beginning, the flavor and the smoke quality last throughout. Like it, when it dies, it just it just it just dies. There's no it's, there's it's no dead. gradual fading away. It's just gone. So, um, three point five is fair, slightly above average, which is fine. You know, it's a decent smoke. I have no complaints. It could be better, but it could also be much worse. Well, we're going to get to that. Yeah, looking at you, Starbuzz. Now the buzz. Mm. This is what I was hinting at before. It, doesn't really deliver on buzz at all. No. I mean, it's not completely impotent. No, no. Like, you're going to feel like you're smoking shisha, but... I, I mean, I feel it a little bit, but that's yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's like a... It should be called virgin... Adios, motherfucker. Mm. It's very little. Yeah. Very little. Yeah. So, yeah. Buzz, 2.5. Yeah. It's, it's really not much to say. It, it, it leaves a lot to be desired in terms of... Uh, in terms of potency. I mean, there had to be a weakness somewhere. Yeah. That's why this isn't our top flavor, but it's up there. Yeah, I mean, this is a flavor that we have decided will be regularly worked into our, our rotation. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. But, fun. I mean, it's not it's not going to be a permanent fixture. Like, like Rose. Exactly. Come on. Okay. Now, smoothness. We were going back and forth a bit on this. You know, you're going to inhale and you're going to feel like a little bit of tingle in your lungs. It's not perfectly the smoothest thing. It's not rose. But uh, for the most part, it's not going to interfere with your smoke. You're yeah. still going to enjoy the hell out of it. You're not going to be coughing every other round. You're not going to be, uh, you know, getting the sore throat feeling. But it's yeah. not going to go down as smooth as like a blue mist or a rose or have in the pa in videos we've done in the past. Exactly. Uh, the what I feel like is, is interesting about this flavor is that for a blend that does have a hit of citrus in it, you're really not going to get much in terms of like the... Yeah, the choky feeling. Yeah, man. you're not going to be getting any of that. Um, you will get a little bit of a tingle. Yeah, like, I, like lungs, I've been saying, but that's like a little bit of lingering in your, in your lungs. Some more sensitivity of you, you know, the pussies out there. Yeah, I... <laughs> not us. You might, you know... Feel a little some some for the most part, it's gonna go down okay. We've given this a three point five. Speaking of pussies out there, yeah. 
You got this, sir. You missed the camera. Do it again. <laughs> if you can handle it. He's fine, ladies and gentlemen. He's taking this like a champ. The speechless one. Yes. See? See? <laughs> Alright, so... What does that add up to overall? Enlighten me. Remember when you used to pretend to add it up? That was fun. How long did that last? Do you not see I'm busy here? Goddamn asshole. Lazy son of a bitch. It's a 3.6. 3.6. So... You know, we've done a lot of these flavors now, and most of them tend to be in the middle middle three range. This is a flavor that's worth having in your in your in your shelf. You know, this is a flavor that's not going to disappoint you. It's not going to blow you away, but this is a strong, solid flavor. You will not go wrong with the Fantasia Adios motherfucker at all. Oh. And I got to tell you, after um, after that nonsense that we had with the gingerbread, and I know I can speak for you on this, we were blown away with the contrast of how bad that was compared to how good this is. Oh my god. This gave us new hope in Fantasia and, you know, because of this flavor you will be seeing more Fantasia in the in the coming weeks. Indeed. Yeah. So, You're welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Exactly. So, um, I think that just about wraps it up. Yes. Except, except for one thing. Our boy Mac is going to give us the final word. Come on, lay it on us, man. Come on, just stop, stop, you know, being like a little posturing and just Fucking give it to us. Come on, the, the audience is begging for it. Punchy. There you have it. Punchy, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think that guy's waiting for it. He's leaving. Uh, uh bye, the random dude. It's my neighbor, all right? He's cool. All right, bye, Dan's neighbor. So, anyway. Are those roses in this front yard? No. Uh, it's just a pink bush. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> as you're saying. Stop with your rose nonsense. I see what you're fucking doing. I'm not amused. Anyway, thank you for joining the Hookah Roundup. Thank you. Please feel free to check out our other project, The Underground Gamers. We're going to be coming out with stuff, and no, it's going to be great. Not. It's never going to fucking happen, all right? It's going to happen eventually. I promise. We promise. I swear. Yeah, when we get to Fantasyland. It's never freaking happening. Can you stop being such a Debbie Downer? Leave! <laughs> all right, fine. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> My Carl impression. Anyway. Thank you for joining the Hooper Roundup. I am your host, The Mick. Here with Mac. Later, guys. JB. As always. And the Earth. The Silent Man. Mr. Earth Fan. Mr. Earth. Thank you for joining us, Earth. Your presence is always warmly appreciated. So, thank you for joining us tonight. Happy smoking, guys. Later.